Hey, Dave, with Max Scherzer, he now has the best ERA in Major League Baseball, and he's 7-0 and as a Dodger. When you all brought him over at the trade deadline, was this what you expected from him? And I imagine yes, but how has he really exceeded your expectation? Um, he's better than advertised. Um, we, uh, we knew what we were going to get as far as the player. Um, he, he certainly even exceeded that. Um, today in particular, travel, um, kind of where we were at with the pen to allow us to reset everyone obviously was huge against a really good Cardinal ball club. Um, but I think for me, it's just the impact in the clubhouse, the conversations, uh, the accountability, the preparation, all that stuff is something that really lands with all of our guys, you know, whether it's position players, pitchers, veterans, young players. So, um, for me, that's been the most uh, pleasant surprise and, uh, yeah, he's as good as they get. And Chris Taylor had a big um, two-round home run today. He told us that it felt really good for him to be able to get off that swing with how you've shared with us, that he's just been grinding at the plate, working really closely with the hitting coaches in the cage. How can you see that a swing like that just be able to kind of get him back on track? You know, um, you, you're grinding and uh, coaches, teammates can encourage you, but – uh, that positive reinforcement uh, with the result um, most of the time outweighs it, you know. And so for him to backspin a ball, hit a homer, a big homer uh, for us, I think that will kind of propel him. And uh, again, he, he's going hard. He's preparing and just hasn't had a good fortune in the last 30 days. But uh, hopefully that'll propel him. Thanks, Dave. Hey, Dave, when uh, you guys got Max, it seemed like a lot of the perception around the league was sort of like the rich get richer and acquiring a guy like that. And just given what, like where your pitching's been for the last month, like how much have you guys really needed to have acquired him? Uh, we've needed him. Um, and he's fit in seamlessly. Uh, he's made a very good team, uh, even better. And um, I know that uh, I feel very fortunate to get to know him and, and build a relationship, but the bottom line is that uh, he makes our ball club better every single day, not just those days that he's pitching. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Hey, Dave, I don't know if you planned or hoped to get Albert into this game, if you heard the chance uh, in the later innings, but it seemed like Max wasn't going to let you. Um, no, yeah, exactly, exactly. There just wasn't a, a, a spot for him right there, and – You've got to keep your defense with the lead. So I, I know Albert appreciated it. I appreciate it. But, uh, you know, my job is to win baseball games, and Albert will get to start tomorrow. Did you think of sending him out there for the ninth, or would that lead? I mean, I mean if this is like a 2-1 game, would you maybe have sent him out there for the ninth? Um, probably not. Um, I, I think that appreciating where his hamstring was at his last start, so to not get stressed. Actually, it was stressed one inning. Um, but outside of that, um, pretty, pretty easy outing for him as far as kind of the workload um, and the stress. So I think right there, that was going to be it, uh, regardless of score. So Max gave us everything we needed, and uh, he'll be ready for that uh, San Diego series. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, Dave, how uh, tough was the travel? What time did you get to the hotel this morning? Uh, you know, I, I think he was kind of uh, three-ish, something like that. Uh, I really didn't want to look at the clock to see to count hours on time I had to wake up. So, but you know what? It was late, but uh, to the guy's credit, they showed up with energy today. And I felt good about today. And obviously uh, that first inning was huge. And then Max got to kind of settle into the game and, you know, execute pitches. So um, I'm happy that's behind us. Now we can kind of recover for tomorrow night. And I'll play the uh, glass half full, half empty game again. Four runs in the first inning, only one hit after that. Last 19 retired in order. Is the glass half full or half empty offensively? Yeah, I mean, we're certainly, it, it was good to score five runs, uh, certainly a positive. Um, but eight innings to score one run um, isn't good enough for our club. And our guys understand that. And uh, it, it took an error by the catcher to get Mookie in scoring position and a two out hit by Corey to get that fifth run. Um, so your point is it, heard and it's right. And so for us to play that championship caliber, caliber baseball, 
uh, like we're capable of doing. Uh, it's got to be better. It absolutely does. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks guys.